primarily Cambridge works, you know, we're trying to develop novel swine technology or novel vaccine technology. So a lot of our studies are um, vaccination, serology, monitoring, or vaccination challenge work. I think, you know, a lot of us have been in the industry a long time. We've worked in a variety of facilities, um, pretty much any type of facility under the sun. Um, in my prior position, we actually built um, our own research facility from the ground up. So we kind of had the knowledge of what we wanted in a, in a building and what we didn't want and what worked well for us in the past. Um, and then also, we needed our building to be USDA licensed so that we were able to uh, use certain organisms in the building that uh, the USDA you know, has to oversee. So we needed something that had um, all of the qualifications that the USDA requires of a BSL-2 barn, um, as well as something that was functional and easy to use and you know, a good place for the pigs to be in. Um, having worked in, in pretty much every type of building there is, I know some of the things that I personally was excited about was you know, a very nice shower for shower in, shower out procedures, because we'll have to do that um, once we get into uh, challenge organisms, we'll shower in and shower out. Um, it had a bathroom, which is something that <laughs> not a lot of our buildings have had, so that was really nice. Um, and then the first thing I noticed when we came in to do the pigs last week was just how bright the buildings, how bright the rooms are. We had a USDA inspector out about two weeks ago, and there was virtually no issues. I think the building, you know, marked off all the check, check boxes. Um, had, had all the requirements that the USDA wanted to see, um, good biosecurity. We were able to put in a security system, no problem. Um, so that has been really nice. Um, pretty much a turnkey. We just showed up and ordered pigs and here we are. So it's been really easy so far.